For people in India, especially women who struggle to make ends meet and are at the margins of mainstream society, there are very few options for them to make their money grow. They move from place to place looking for work and safety, don't always have their identity documents and have limited assets to offer as collateral. As a result, every crisis drives them deeper into poverty. In the absence of a safe space, many keep their money on themselves or at their home and may lose entire amounts to theft. Without access to convenient savings, pension, insurance and credit services, they often fall onto hard times and take help from money lenders at high interest rates to meet basic costs like daily household expenses, school fees of children and health needs. What people want is a financial institution that allows them to save as much as they can, even as little as rupees 10 or 50, get credit repayment options that are serviceable and be treated with dignity. The Swati Jyoti Cooperative was co-created with marginalized women in 2007 to do exactly this and more. Registered under the Karnataka Sauharda Sahakari Act 1997, after several rounds of trials, its model is that of a future secured. Swati Jyoti goes beyond mere financial services to actually influence the factors that it improve well-being of its members and increase their resilience. Swati Jyoti provides a formal place for savings, even for small amounts earned daily. Services provided respectfully, customized financial products, affordable and cost-effective credit, availability of doorstep services, member benefits that address health, life skills, social protection, financial literacy and planning. 